Nike have released this Atmos collaboration that looks similar to like the Viotech Dunks back in the Air Force One model, which looks pretty fucking cool. Um, the Viotech Dunks have come back out again, right? You've seen those. You've seen the Viotech Air Max 1s that have kind of come back out again. We might see the reintroduction of the NL non-linear um, Dunk that came out back in the day. Hopefully, we'll see a look at that. But I remember before making a, a, a video about how um, influential and how amazing the, the, the JP exclusive Air Maxes were and the, the Air Force 1s. And this is another example of it. Atmos, you know, a legendary store in Japan, has put together this crazy collaboration. Um collaboration called uh pop the street capsule so they've got air force ones and, and i think some clothing as well included in it but the air force one looks so fucking good so essentially it looks like a suede or new buck upper completely all of it right all the way around you've got like you've got some lilac tones in the front toe box so you've got like a purple on the side and the toe box is all lilac you've got red in the middle orange at the back and a black swoosh and you've got quite a little kind of like off-white sail sole black mid blacks outsole and the lace stays are black and then you've got a massive nice bright hit of neon green on the back uh pull tab where the nike where the nike sign is but it just looks fucking beautiful and on the instep you've got the bl blue and the tiffany green sort of colorway on there they look fucking gorgeous i really like the combination between these kind of really light colorways or these pastel sort of colorways and the black laces on the top um usually with these sort of collaborations you usually see them opt for like a white outsole and then the white sort of like lace stays and the white laces to kind of offset them a bit easier better i think color combination wise but i like what they've done here with the other combination of the black on the inside and the black on the outside which makes it possible for you to kind of wear you know a few more darker pants wearing these and it will look pretty cool too but they, they just they look fucking beautiful the shape the colorway i love the fact that you've got that kind of off-white sail midsole there just very very good cool collaboration they also come i don't know what that what, what air max is that that where is that that's the air barrage i'm not really a fan of that but that's just, you know you'll see a lot of um really swagged out japanese dudes wearing these sort of shoes and because they're size eight and lower and five foot five they make these trainers look fucking awesome but for a guy that's got size 11 feet an air barrage probably isn't the right thing to go about and if you don't know what an air barrage looks like google it and you'll see what i mean it definitely won't look good um above a size um, nine in my opinion um so those, those are a cool colorway too similar sort of mold and then you've got the apparel to go with it you've got a nice little hooded top in black and gray you've got a t-shirt as well in black and white and just a really solid collaboration man really really beautiful collaboration um, so here, we, here we, we can read a bit of the text here nike and japanese retailer atmos have added yet another project to their long portfolio collaborations this time around the pair have created an expansive clap that includes brightly colored um iterations of the air force one and the air barrage mid the main um, inspiration behind the lineup was Japanese pop culture, drawing from the series of reference points like contemporary art and, and manga. The result is an assemblage of bright colors. Oh, yeah, blah, blah. Stop talking rubbish here. High piece. The next piece is the Air Barrage. Um, so the, the Pop Street Capital Collection, the most important thing is going to come out November 9th for Atmos.co.uk. You're going to have to get it by proxy, it seems like. they might. You know what? The, the other thing as well that might be a bit of a piss -tick. They might not be available in bigger sizes. I know sometimes Atmos does these collaborations. They usually do them Japan sizes, and they usually don't go above a size 10. So if you've got a big foot, then you might not be in luck here. But they're going to be available from the 9th. They're going to price price starts from the $41 to 138 So I'm assuming the T-shirt is 41 and probably the Air Barrage is probably the expensive thing at $138, which is not that much at all. You'll be able to find proxies online quite easily. Just Google uh, Japanese proxies, uh, shipping services and stuff. You'll be able to find them available. And sometimes if you're lucky, you can email the stores directly. And they usually have one or two people there who speak English. You might be able to help you out and get an international order put in. Just pay, probably PayPal them. But I really recommend checking them out. They look a little bit shit on this picture though, on this Instagram picture. I'm not going to be honest. Uh, but they look better here with the lighting. With a bit more of a light. The orange looks a little bit more lighter than it does there. Not sure if that's a Photoshop thing or whatever maybe, but... I do like the colorway. I think they look really, really nice. Uh, the barrage, I'm probably not a big fan of, but I think the the actual Air Force One is probably the best thing they've done in a while, or I've seen in a while. But in terms of Air Force Ones, and obviously the T-shirts and stuff look really nice as well. And it's a solid collaboration. I think again, Atmos is probably you know 
maybe second only to maybe undefeated and stuff in terms of just like solid in-store collaborations you know the little capsule collations that they do put together i know sides have probably taken a lot of inspiration through that some of the shoes they do but you know they don't really do as well as atmos do they've got a long history in sneakers you can only have to google some of the, of the previous nike atmos collaborations to know how good they've been but yeah definitely something that i would add to my uh, repertoire of sneakers you know sooner rather than later if i was that way inclined but definitely come and check them out uh, nike atmos pop was that pop what not pop smoke pop the street capsule collection really cool um really well done really well put together and again something that's been perfect for these nice chilly wintry months when you want a bit of pop and color in your feet footwear going forward but yeah really really nice man i love them i think they look amazing really cool color and again like i said very clear the use of black in this color way because it doesn't really seem like it makes sense in this sort of colorway but i like it i like it i like it a lot i like it a lot